What's going on guys, my name is Yoss, and I'm back with some more Black Ops 2 info. If you guys are liking this, this sort of video, then make sure you leave this video with a like, and I'll continue to make more of them. I'm actually rather enjoying researching Black Ops 2 rather than playing Modern Warfare 3. It's actually a lot less stressful than playing that game, so uh, definitely leave this video with a like, and that'll let me know if I should continue on with this sort of little series I've got going. Um, what you're watching here at the moment is the new Black Ops 2 Creator Class menu. Um, it's actually been changed and it's now the Pick 10 system. So basically, this is all based around 10 points. You start with 10 points, you can customize any one of your loadouts. You can fine tune them to beat whether it's an objective class, whether it's a rushing class, whether it's a camping class. You can do whatever you want. You can just fine tune your classes to the maximum. And I think Treyarch have done a very good job in balancing that out. Now, at the start, I was a little bit hesitant when I heard about this 10 point system. You know, I thought it was gonna be a bit OP like one man army danger close noob tubes. I really thought we we're gonna have that problem, but Treyarch have thought of, I'm gonna say almost everything. I don't know if they've thought of everything, but I think it's going to be fairly balanced, and I'm going to run through it with you guys today, so let's get into it. This is one of the five default classes for Black Ops 2. You'll see here that on that top little bar there, it says 9 slash 10. So that is 9 out of a possible 10 points that has been chosen. So who can either choose uh, Perk 3 or a Tactical Grenade to get into uh, 10 out of 10 points. Now everything on screen is worth 1 point, so we'll run through it. The primary weapon is 1 point, um, the 3 attachments. Uh, one point each. The only problem with having three attachments, as you'll see there in the bottom of the screen, it says wild cards, primary gunfighter. So that means you have three attachments on your primary. You need to have that wild card in there to have that third attachment. So the wild card is a point also. So that's five points just on the primary weapon. Um, the secondary is basically just that's just a stinger. That's the sixth point. Perk 1.2, which is 7 and 8 points, and the Lethal Grenade is 9 points. So that sort of explains there what that 9 point system is. He still has 1 point to go. Um, we're going to get into wild cards now, and I'll explain to you guys what all the wild cards are. I also would like to let you guys know that there are no more pro perks in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It is just the same as COD 4. A perk is a perk, and what Treyarch have done is they've sort of move some of the perks across into gun attachments. So you can see there on screen there, laser sight, that is actually steady aim. And they've also got fast hands, which is um, slight hand or quick draw from Modern Warfare 3. So they've actually changed a few of those things up. Uh, the only uh, really non-beneficial thing when it comes to that is if you drop your weapon, say if, if this um, creator class is dropped, in game you drop or you run out of ammo and you actually pick up someone else's gun you actually lose steady aim because you haven't got the laser sight on it and you, whatever you pick up on that weapon then you'll have those attachments so that's really the thing that Treyarch have changed around you're going to be losing some perks but you're also going to be gaining them on gun attachments so let's get into the wild card side of things and I'll explain what everything is and what all that stuff means so the best way to explain wild cards is they're there to balance things out so you can't create too much of an overpowered creator class. Now, um, like for instance that first creator class we've seen there, he chose to take a third attachment on his primary weapon, which automatically selects the primary gunfighter wild card. So that's another point. Um, so that's one more point that he takes away from his 10 that's already there. Uh, secondary gunfighter, if you choose to take a second attachment on your secondary, it automatically selects secondary gunfighter. Overkill, we've seen it before, if you want to run two primary weapons, it's automatically going to select overkill, which takes off another point. Uh, the one thing that I do want to stress, as you'll see here, is the new ones, perk 1 greed, perk 2 greed, perk 3 greed. Now these you'll see in this this creator class, uh, Perk 3 for instance, he's chosen two perks from the same tier, which automatically selects Perk 3 Greed. So if we run through these 10 points, he's got a primary weapon, which is one point, three attachments, which is another three points, automatically selects a wild card, which is the primary gunfighter, that's another point, so that's five points already on his primary weapon. Moving along to his perks, he's chosen one in Perk 1, so that's six, now, in perk 3, he's chosen 2, so that's 7 and 8 points, plus it automatically selects the wild card, which is another point, which is 9, and then the tactical insertion is 10. So, hopefully you guys can understand where he got those 10 points for, from, and hopefully gives you guys a better idea on what you guys are going to set up and run with. 
Um, moving back to the other wild cards, Danger Close just enables you to carry double the amount of lethal grenades, and Tactician enables you to carry double the amount of tactical grenades. Now, if you guys are enjoying this series, please let me know in the comments. Please leave the video with a like, and I'll continue to post stuff like this. And I will see you guys next time. We're going to run through perks next time, so stick around for that. Uh, thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys later. Kaya!